another color compare video and this one is a big one we have eight colors today so we're gonna kind of pick out a few of these and eliminate a few kind of right off the bat i'm gonna give you my thoughts on these colors this video is for kind of bone color we have lots of times where you need you know i don't know teeth on a squig horns on things skulls and, and that kind of stuff in warhammer or lots of war games so if you just need a bone color, or even like a dirty cloth color or something like that, these are the colors that you're going to reach for. And so we do have a variety of paints from both uh, Citadel Color and from the Army Painter. And they are all kind of in that bone or, you know, kind of dirty cloth kind of range. It's a pale kind of off-white color. Notable outliers right off the bat, lots of folks I know use this Rakarth flesh as their kind of bone color. And you're going to notice this is the darkest color that we have here in the color compare. That goes on, it doesn't cover real well over the white or the black, that's one coat, and I put it on kind of thick. But we're going to find that that's kind of our darkest color here. And so just for a moment among the Citadel, let's take a look at these different colors and see kind of where they all fit in. The other thing to note about the Citadel colors is we do have a layer paint sneaking in here, this Ushabti bone, and that's because that's another paint that just a lot of folks who use Citadel paints tend to go for that Ushabti bone color for their bone colors for their skulls that kind of thing so that's a great color this ushabti bone it actually covers surprisingly well for a layer paint i was very impressed with it i've not found that with a lot of the citadel layers because that's not what they're designed for it's not that it's a bad thing it's just that's not what they're designed to do they are designed to highlight over you know, a very similar color so we have the Ushabti bone, nice dark bone color. We have the Rakarth flesh, a very dark bone color. Then we have what I would consider maybe the classic bone here, this wraith bone. And I also grabbed this Morgast bone. It's like, oh, that looks like a little bit of a darker bone. And we're going to see that compared to this skeleton bone here in a minute. Let's finish taking a look at these. I'm going to move the Ushabti bone over. So we've got the Ushabti bone here next to that Morgast bone. You'll see it's just a little less intense, that Ushabti bone. The Morgast bone is just a little bit darker. It's got a little bit more, you know, just intensity to it. It's definitely, you know, a bolder kind of, even for an off-white type of color. So, you know, you pick the one that you like for what you're doing out of these colors if you're going to stick with the Citadel colors. We're going to take Rakarth Flush. We're going to kind of set that aside because nothing else here quite looks like that Rakarth flesh, and so if that's the color you're going for, I think that's kind of the easy choice. What I'm going for here is kind of a, if I had to pick one paint to do all my bone with, what would I pick? And so these from Citadel, all three of these are very much in the running. Let's take a look on the Army Painter side. And we do have kind of two categories of paint here on the Army Painter side. We have what I would call maybe more of your classic bone colors. So this mummy's robe here, very light, getting really close to that white, it's just slightly off white. And we have this skeleton bone that's kind of got that nice, almost like a boldness to it, is what I would say. Then over here we've got brain matter beige and drake tooth. And I got drake tooth originally to paint some squig teeth. I figured, you know, if it can be a tooth of a drake, it could be the tooth of a squig. I also got this Brain Matter Beige because uh, I think that actually came in a big uh, mega set that I got. And that's fine because it's a really nice color. The thing, it's hard to see on camera. I'm going to try to do the best I can with these. But these two, the Brain Matter Beige and the Drake Tooth, they just have an ever so slightly like green hint to them. I don't know if you... I, I see a green hint in them. Especially on the cap of my Brain Matter Beige. If we can get that to focus, it's just ever so slight. And so actually when you put these next to some of the other greens, like the very light greens, you know, that you'd use maybe like a vampire flesh or something, um, that 
how uh, you know it has that little bit of green to it and that's fine you hardly notice it but it is definitely there you know shade over it with a wash it's gone pretty much but it is there so that gets us kind of a little bit of a different category and so again i'm gonna kind of say okay that's their own own category of maybe a little bit of a you, know, you add one of the kind of off-white green uh, to that and you've got a little bit of a range there so mummy robes and skeleton bone here you've got you know, your two army painter paints and notice the skeleton bone is that 100 percent match it does have a spray primer that matches it that in combination with the fact that it's just kind of a nice middle of the road bone color it's not really pale it's not really dark i'm picking out a color for my uh, bone, you know, all the my bones and teeth and that kind of stuff on my models. I paint a lot of orcs. They've got, all got skulls on their bases. This skeleton bone is looking like kind of what I want to go for. If you want to go for a lighter color, you know, that mummy's robe is not bad and covers well. Mummy's robe and skeleton bone cover excellently. Back to the citadel side for a minute. If I'm going for skeleton bone on the army painter side, that is going to be our match to Ushabti Bone uh, from the um, Citadel range. And again, that is a layer paint, but it covers surprisingly well. These two paints, I mean, honestly, you could, like, mix them up, blindfold me, and have me paint them. I don't know that I could tell the difference. And for that reason, I think the Army Painter is our winner here just because I like it coming in this dropper bottle. It's a little bit more convenient. get a little bit more paint and for a, for less money per pot and so the army painter is kind of the winner here between these um what about this morgas bone that's a really nice color i like that i can't say i'm going to grab it but you know if you want to go darker it's just ever so it's got a little bit of more richness to it if you want to go ever so slightly darker or you're painting you know, maybe some sand or something i think this paint is going to come back in a future color compare where we look at more of that kind of stuff. Finally here, this wraith bone, that is gonna be a lot like our mummy robes here. And you do notice that wraith bone's just got a little bit of extra depth to it that the mummy's robes doesn't have. Mummy's robes, very white. Wraith bone's just got that little bit of extra kind of something to it. I like that about it, so I'm a fan of this wraith bone. So if I had to, to pick kind of a light one and a dark one, I think I'm going Skeleton Bone and Wraith Bone. I'll have to say if I you know, get the Army Painter kit, it's got the mummy's robes in it, I don't know that I need the Wraith Bone uh, from Citadel. So you, you, know, you pick the color. The idea here with these color compare videos is you know, figure out uh, what color might work well for you and just go buy that one color. And then you don't have to worry about fussing around, you know, maybe like I do, right, with, oh, I'm going to paint, you know, some, you know, skulls or something. Which of these eight colors am I going to use? I mean, it's not that big of a thing, but, you know, some folks will say, you know, that's a little bit of extra mental tax that you uh, maybe don't want to pay, right? If, oh, I got to decide between it, you know, just grab the one, okay? It's a bone of a skeleton. I'm going to go with skeleton bone. Right? I want something a little lighter. Go with the Wraith Bone or the Mummy's Robes. If I'm going, you know, maybe for my dragons or my squigs, maybe I paint those all in Drake Tooth. So there you go. That I hope that helps kind of pick out a bone color. Again, my front runner here, this Army Painter Skeleton Bone. And then for the lighter shades, you know, the Mummy's Robe or the Wraith Bone. They're all excellent paints from two very excellent companies. So you can't go wrong with any of them. So grab what you need. And let's get gaming. Thanks for watching.